Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have another exhibition tournament done and dusted over this off-season. The Daria Tennis Cup, which was happening in Saudi Arabia, that is finished with some big names playing in that event. Let's go have a look at all the results from that tournament. So it was a pretty unique tournament. We had a first round where they played three super tie breaks as the way to find out who would make the quarterfinals. I guess the big upset was that Cam Norrie beat Nick Kyrgios, who you would expect to play really well in tie break situations. So that was a pretty big upset there. In the quarterfinals, they played a best of three set match with a super tie break in the final set. And I guess the biggest upset there was Vavrinka taking out Rublev. Also, Nori beat Sidzi Pass in straight sets, which I thought was a little bit strange as well. And you can see there, we had Medvedev beating Zverev. Good to see Zverev back on a court. And even though the scoreline was really one-sided to Medvedev in that first set, it was actually pretty close in that match. And Fritz also beat her catch in a very close straight sets match as well. In the semifinals, we had Medvedev taking out Vavrinka and also... Fritz taking out Nori in a very close match, going all the way to a super tie break. And interestingly enough, we actually had doubles matches between all the losers of the first couple of rounds. And I guess the funniest combination there was the fact that Kyrgios and City Pass were a team. After what happened at Wimbledon, a little bit awkward, but they have played doubles before, so I guess they do know each other's games pretty well. And then the final between Fritz and Medvedev, and Taylor Fritz got the win in straight sets, 7-6, seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. Medvedev was the defending champion of this tournament back in 2019, so Fritz getting a big payday and also getting a big win over someone that he's probably going to play a lot of next year, considering they're both top 10 guys. And in the doubles, Hubi Hercatch, who teamed up with Stricker, they defeated Berrettini and Rublev, which was very interesting, because those two guys would probably the least talked about combination her catch and stricker two guys that you would never put together or never think you'd see together because not so many people know about stricker and her catch i guess is more known for his singles these days than his doubles but he is a very good doubles player so they took out the doubles over the more popular berrettini and rublev so there you have it the Daria Cup, which uh, is a new exhibition event, I guess. Well, sort of new. Second one we've had uh, over the last couple of years. Of course, COVID shut it down for a few years. And we've got plenty more exhibition tournaments to go until the Australian Open and the Australian Summer, which starts at the end of this month. What do you reckon about these exhibitions? Are you taking much notice? Are you watching them? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you taking the results seriously or do you take them as face value? Like, there are exhibition events. They're not going to be serious. And maybe when they play next year, the results actually will go to the players that we expect to win in these sort of matchups.